Hey everyone, excuse me for not making any videos lately. I have been completely down with fever, but I'm finally back and standing. And I'm here to talk to you today about two different ways to understand beauty. I've come to find that there is two ways of thinking about beauty. And the first one is ornamental and the second is artistic. The ornamental idea is first and foremost that beauty is something that is found on the outside and then brought inside. The artistic idea is that beauty is something that is found inside and that has to be brought outside. So you have these two conflicting ideas and you have to consider like what do these mean, how do they change your perspective on beauty. Well, the extroverted feeling way, the ornamental way of seeing it is beauty exists everywhere around us. So they are constantly looking for art, beautiful sunshine, uh, people, anything around you that uh, you uh, adore anything that you rewear, anything that you find amazing, fascinating. And the ornamental mindset is I want to share this with everyone. I want to bring it to people's inner worlds. So how can I do this? Well, ornamental and uh, artistic thinking both rely on storytelling, story weaving. So it's always about for example coming up with a way to present things. I was walking a across a lake and I saw a, a beautiful dolphin in this lake jump up and it was marvelous like uh, this is how you think as a feeler like this is how you see the world it's based on quality it's based on how things look how things experience and the thing about artistic thinking is it comes from the inside first and is then brought out. So this is a perspective that kind of turns you off and makes you forget about the beauty you can find about around the world around you. Well of course I would say that's an extroverted feeler but artistic thinking is also about verifying that I am a good person. Me personally, I am a good person. I am, uh, I'm able to affirm my daydreams. Like I can imagine myself in a castle. I can imagine myself anywhere in the world. I can see myself fighting dragons or whatever. Like you can, whatever happens whenever your eyes close and you start going into your own world. And realizing this is a beautiful, marvelous place, and I like this place. I actually like being inside my own head. I actually like daydreaming and just seeing and experiencing the things my mind shows me. Now, when you see these things as an artistic thinker, of course, you'll want to bring this out, but you'll find that this is difficult, it's hard to take the things that you found inside that you find beautiful and to share them with other people. And the first difficulty is basically getting the trust to that other people won't steal this from you when they share it, they won't distort it, they won't twist it, they won't damage it, they will respect it, your own way of doing things, your own artistic sense. Uh, Nobody will try to take that from you. Like that is uh, the most important thing. You can't try to undermine an introverted feeler in that way. You have to respect their process and how they do things. And an extroverted feeler, an ornamental thinker, of course, is about taking what's beautiful <laughs> and finding the things around you and making it more beautiful and sharing it with other people. So always there has to be a balance between these two, like uh, you always have to ask for permission as an extroverted feeler, you always have to uh, give credit where credit is due, you always have to uh, well inspire and invite people to share and give, make them, give them the reason to trust you. So 
when you think about these things, then you have an answer that a lot of people have been boggling with. Like, can an extroverted feeler have introverted feeling? Yes, in the sense that an extroverted feeler must have the ability to understand inner experiences, other people's experiences. And uh, an extroverted feeler experiences their own introverted feeling in other people, in art, in music, in the things around them. So they see it everywhere around them. <coughs> and they're constantly looking for it. And same goes for introverted feeling. An introverted feeler experiences extroverted feeling everywhere around them. They are highly aware, acutely aware of the ornaments and how people decorate and make things seem more fancy than they are. But an introverted feeler, of course, is focused on the essence of what is beauty. And the extroverted feeler is focused on the presentation of what is beauty, how it's appeared, how it's explained, how it's shown to the world around it. Lastly, there is of course the fact of objectivity versus subjectivity. Exhort feelers want to share because they don't just want beauty to be there by itself alone. They want it to be in the world around them. They want other people to understand that this is beautiful. This is good. This is not just about beauty, of course, but it's about ethics. Aesthetics is the fundament of ethics. When you understand what's beautiful in society, you understand what's good in society what the right way to live is, what the right way to act is, how to, what the right way to talk to other people is. So sharing beauty is a lesson of sharing and spreading good ethic, good conduct to the world around you. So these are my thoughts on extroverted feeling versus introverted feeling. I'm curious, what are you? Are you an introverted feeler or an extroverted feeler? And I'm also curious, would you like to support my fundraiser? Would you like to support us be become, uh, by becoming uh, subscribers? If you do, feel free to click on the link down below. It would really help me in the making of more videos and better material in the future. Thank you all for watching.